Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today we're doing a benchmark test for the Nexus 9. This is going to test just how good this dual core 64-bit processor really is with the Tegra branding on it. So first we're going to just verify everything on this tablet, starting with CPU-Z. The CPU Z does tell us that it is a dual core tablet at 2.5, and uh, it is running with the Tegra processor on it. And the uh, screen the screen pixels is going to give 1952 by 1536 with a pixel density of 320. Now you can see the RAM is two gigs and you have a little over 11 gigs of internal storage on the 16 gig model, which I also have a few games on here. So really you're probably going to have starting around 12. Now when we go to everything else, we can see that we're going to start with the processor. So we're going to hit the processor and just see how the benchmark runs for the processor first. And then we're going to test out the graphics and then finally wrap up with Intuitu testing out the overall benchmark. Now, as we can see with this tablet, it actually destroyed pretty much every other tablet out there, including the Nvidia Shields, which always beats all other tablets. Uh, if you want to know, generally most other devices, say like the Note 4 or the G3, typically always score under 8,000, so the NVIDIA Shield always tops it, whereas this one scored 11,466, so it's definitely killing it when it comes to benchmarks for the processor. How about the graphics? Well, in the graphics test, it also did a very good job. Uh, it easily beat out the first two sections of the graphics uh, for the extreme and the regular, so we had to go to the unlimited. In the Unlimited, twice it scored 24, which puts it in above pretty much every other device uh, in the same category. So the NVIDIA uh, Shield tablet is the only one that scored higher in terms of the graphics card. However, this tablet did beat out every other one, from the iPad Air 2 to all of the latest devices like the Droid Turbo, and of course every other tablet and phone out in the market. So this really, really just beat out everyone uh, with this uh, benchmark. So for 24, it's a very high uh, score for a graphics card on this tablet. Now how about Intuitu? Well, Intuitu, uh, I got really dramatic differences. Uh, when I first turned on the tablet, I had a ridiculously high score of 54. Now, since then, I've gotten two that are around 35 and 38, so a much more reasonable uh, experience. But still, the first time it did definitely get uh, on a whole nother level uh, where it went to 54. Since then, it's been a lot more moderate, but the first time it did get that. I've tried multiple times and it doesn't score as high, but that might be just because Intuitu is does not, does not able to process the 64-bit and obviously um, something went wrong because it did process very high and then it didn't. Um, and Tutu did have actually an update in this time, but you can see 54 is basically uh, ridiculously high. Actually, it actually is the second highest in the globe. Uh, so it's very high, especially without having customization. So it really uh, was a impressive feat for it to get at that level. Um, and in terms of the device info, you can see everything here. And again, uh, this doesn't detect that it's a 64-bit instead of a 32. So that might have to deal something with uh, the scores, the different scores we got. But this device did hit 54 when I first tried it, which again was kind of out of nowhere. Uh, overall, though, when you compare it at its uh, 35, it definitely falls more in line compared to other devices out there. But when matching that 54, it blew away the competition. So which one is this, is the one it's supposed to be at? Well, that we kind of have to wait till the benchmarks catch up with it. 
Hopefully you did like these videos. If you did, please give a like, thumbs up down below. It's been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.